this is spider ham and the packaging you notice from all the legends is different it's a white background which might be a first for the Marvel Legends line and this is the back of the card art going to open this up and continue the review this is spider ham out of the package only three and a half inches tall spider ham comes with the monster venom torso and it comes in two parts and you're supposed to put it together and look at this there's more plastic to make this than they used to make that figure and this takes six parts to complete and right away to be honest of the six figures in the wave of the monster venom builder figure this is the most disappointing and of the six uh, I would put it six in terms of overall the others being better because the honest reason is the size or the lack of size and the limited articulation you see for 20 bucks approximately you could get other Marvel Legends figures that are bigger or more detailed and have much to offer all for the same price as this version so it's a small character and if you're not building the monster venom which ha and this has that main torso if you don't have the monster venom and you don't plan to build it and you just want this character well you're not getting much for your 20 bucks to be honest here and when we get to the articulation or the lack of it in the review I'll mention that as well spider ham is a comic book character originally it was like a very comedy character very comedic for a, a kid audience but in the spider verse storyline which is what this version is based on they made it more of a mature character in terms of the portrayal of spider ham besides the issues with the height and the articulation which we'll get to is he has sculpting of the web lines on the red portions of his costume but they didn't bother to fill in the black lines on the costume they kept it red and you could see the sculpting detail but they didn't fill in the black lines of the suit so you have that issue as well you can see a mouth here which is a surprise it's not obvious at first and you can see the spider symbols there the articulation is the head you can go up down to the sides on a ball joint the shoulder area ball jointed in or out up or down the elbow has one point of articulation and you can spin it and the wrists you just could spin that like that the waist has an articulation point side to side some up and down but there's nothing at the knees nothing at the hips and just here right above the boot top but it's pretty useless overall this articulation point because however you pose it it's pretty hard to stand it could wobble easily and the interesting thing is he does come with one accessory part you see this it's called pork grind it's the venom version in his world they only give you the head but what you have to do is you have to get the venom figure in the same wave so you'd have to buy a spare venom if you want to make this character without swapping heads on a display and so what I did was I swapped out the venom head and that is the pork grind character in the spider world of spider ham and it is about this size difference it is a big character compared to spider ham in those issues so it is fitting to use a venom figure 
for the body mold of pork grind but then again you're wasting a perfectly good venom figure if you want this as a separate character on a display and so you have those options it is a nice included piece though that they at least gave it to you so that's my thoughts about the spider ham character I think as mentioned for 20 bucks you could spend it on other Marvel Legends instead but if you're really a big Spider-Man fan you want to complete the Spider-Verse set or you just want another character for that display then I'd say it's a good enough buy depends how much of a fan of the character that you are alright final thoughts about this Spider-Ham Marvel Legends action figure and you know I have to be honest in these reviews at $20 retail about price wise in terms of Marvel Legends that's about the price for these figures this is not worth $20 when you consider other action figures that you could get that are big like the Hulk the Thing and other characters to get a figure this small and it doesn't even have much lower leg articulation. And for that $20 price tag, it's not worth it. In my opinion, it's a $10 figure. And also, in just my opinion, is this should have been a pack-in. If you have a two-pack or a three-pack, they could have just thrown this in as an extra accessory type thing. But to sell it as an individual figure, I really can't say it's worth $20. It's too much money. The monster size Venom Bath, the Builder figure piece, is bigger and uses more plastic than this figure. And you have the pork grind accessory, except you have to buy a Venom figure and put that head on it to make the pork grind character, which means you have to sacrifice a $20 Venom figure, the body, and swap the head out. Because if you're not building the Monster Venom Bath figure, and you don't want the Monster Builder figure, and you don't want the Pork Grind character, and you just want the Spider-Ham character, and that's your only purpose to get the figure, then that's a very hard justification for $20. But if you want the Builder figure, you want the extra character headpiece here, then, you know, I would say it's an okay deal. Maybe if you're a big Spider-Man fan or a big Spider-Ham fan, you'll want this for your collection. But otherwise, I would say skip it. It's just not worth the price. And that's my view on it, at least. So thanks for watching, and talk to you later.